Vincent Van Gogh's art and life captivated the world for more than 120 years. Every month, there are over two and a half million Google searches for his name. Now, a team of movie makers has turned that fascination into a first of its kind film just released with the help of more than 100 artists from around the globe. Jonathan Vigliotti has the story. One of cinema's most ambitious new films was produced in a small studio in Poland. Here, with the stroke of a brush, a team of painters brought to life the work of Vincent van Gogh. The final result, the first hand-painted film ever made. We have definitely, without a doubt, invented the slowest form of filmmaking ever devised in 120 years. In the, as you Hugh Welshman this, is the uh, film's director. We have the horse and cart moving. Using letters written by Van Gogh, Welshman and his wife Dorota Kobiela tell the story of Van Gogh's creative genius and sudden death. Vincent Van Gogh was born in the Netherlands in 1853. Over the course of his career, he painted over 800 canvases, famous themes including sunflowers and wheat fields. At 37 years old, after being released from a mental institution, he took his own life without any explanation. How does a man go from being absolutely calm to suicidal in six weeks? That pivotal question is explored through fictional interviews with the real-life characters and locations depicted in 150 of Van Gogh's famous paintings. He was an interesting man. He was a genius. Like a traditional film, Loving Vincent began with a set and actors. Use your initiative, son. <clears throat> An important man like Mr. Theo van Gogh. Ask around. We filmed uh, with live actors on green screen. We composited into the, the backgrounds of those shots Van Gogh paintings. We cut it together like a live action film, but then we projected each frame individually onto canvas. As producer Ivan McTaggart explains, a total of 120 artists recruited from all over the world turn those projections into oil paintings. You're not just filling in um, or overpainting a scene as you see it. You're actually having to interpret a moving scene in the style of an artist who died 126 years ago. To be clear, Every single frame of Loving Vincent is painted by hand, all 64,000 of them, the equivalent of 64,000 canvases. How long is this shot? It's four seconds, yeah? So it's 98 frames. So he does a quarter or a third of a second each day, so something like 20 days, just for that one shot of the cart going through with the women. The entire 90-minute film took four years to make. And while there is computer software that can create the illusion of a painting with the click of a mouse. He was a nice, quiet man. Welshman so says computers could never replicate this kind of authenticity. Loving I Vincent is movie. a painstaking tribute to Van Gogh, a moving exhibit of his work unlike any before. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Jonathan Vigliotti, London. Yeah. Every single I frame. I mean, it's, it's hard to get a movie made, generally. Yeah. Now, to make this movie, I mean, that is Herculean effort. And I love in this computer graphics age yes. that it's the all done by hand. Hats off to you.